aircraft carrier is like a floating city. They usually have a flight deck of four to five acres, which can accommodate more than 100 aircraft dot and able to accommodate more than 5,000 personnel. The experience of living and working in a carrier will vary greatly depending on the rank and specialization of work. There are some jobs that are pretty exciting, and there are some that are much more mundane, some that can't even see the sunlight for weeks. If you've ever wondered how sailors spend their time and what life is like aboard an aircraft carrier, most places on the carrier are hotter than we thought. Even the washing room averages about 120 degrees. To avoid heat-related illnesses, they are also assigned to work in the engine room. It's getting hotter for engineers working on machines and boilers below the surface of the water, where temperatures regularly reach 140 degrees. This area is known as the inner circle of the firebringer. Flight deck is the most dangerous place in the world to work. Airplane propellers, jet engine explosions, helicopter rotor spins, and some of the many hazards on the flight deck. When fully loaded, an aircraft carrier can hold about 100 aircraft because it works with limited space, although this work can be dangerous. In fact, the flight deck of an aircraft carrier is the most dangerous place in the world to work. A veteran pointed out that it can throw you almost into a 90-foot fall and may require a helicopter rescue. The danger does not factor in wartime danger. In place of the aircraft carrier, it is easy to get lost. Because of the winding corridors, which often look very similar to each other. Now, it's just a matter of learning to decipher them. Aircraft Carrier Deployment Guide for USS George H. W. Bush recommended new sailors follow someone around the ship who's been there before. That's good advice considering there are about 3,000 rooms on an aircraft carrier. Jeff Dyer, a writer who lived on the USS George H. W. Bush described this noise as unimaginable noise, but the noise of a jet taking off is nothing compared to the noise of a jet landing. An aircraft carrier operates for 24 hours, so coupled with the noise of other ships, there is rarely a moment of silence. Most of the crew is provided with one bed in a room with more than 100 people. Because there is no privacy on board, on some carriers, a sailor will share a bed with more than 100 people. The enlisted sailor rack is only 72 inches long and 26 inches wide, with a 3-inch thick mattress. From the top of the mattress to the bottom of the shelf, above measures only 20 inches. That is hardly enough space to turn over, and that is why the lower and middle shelves are often referred to as coffin lockers. The storage space is also minimal measuring about 10 by 22 by 41 inches. For on board an aircraft carrier feeding thousands of sailors every day, it is no small task. Food is cooked in large quantities and large barrels. The galleys operated for 24 hours with dozens of sailors working at any given time. There is always something to cook, and the preparation never ends. Sailors say it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. In addition to the daily dishes cooked by the culinary crew, everyone has access to a salad bar and the ability to make their own sandwiches, such as hot ham and cheese. There is also a special menu available only to senior officers with items such as the Air Boss Special, which includes spicy chicken, fried rice, onions, peppers, and eggs. Other more common items on the menu include made-to-order hamburgers, quesadillas, and chicken items. Most of the crew remained on board for up to nine months at a time. Being away from family for a long time can be difficult, especially for those with young children. Nevertheless, this is the life of a sailor who often spends half a year or more on board an aircraft carrier. The U.S. Navy stated, extended operations away from home ports can last up to six to nine months, and ships are typically deployed once every 18 or 24 months. Although a sailor may be homesick, the crew of an aircraft carrier is a close-knit group and usually support each other during their travels. And in most circumstances, home is only a call away. While the ship is in port, the sailors report for their shift and return home afterwards.
The eight libraries on the aircraft carrier include computers where sailors have internet access, but the connection is slow. Expect dial-up speeds while on a deployed aircraft carrier. Then again, at least the internet is available in some capacity. The speed is much better when the ship is docked. The aircraft carrier accommodated about 5,000 sailors. This means a lot of queuing. There were long lines for food, haircuts, baths, dental work, and sometimes even to see the priest. Keep in mind that, according to the official protocol, officers and chiefs usually have the privilege of being heads of the line. There is a small corridor, because sailors have to give up ranks. If you are at the lower end, you will step aside to let the higher ranks pass. More than half of the crew went weeks without seeing the sun. It may be clear and sunny outside, but for about half of the crew members, they may go weeks without seeing sunlight. This is difficult for many, but it is only part of the work of sailors on board aircraft carriers. The flight deck is one of the most dangerous places in the world, and if a sailor does not work on the flight deck, they are responsible for walking around there. All work and no games make sailors boring. There are many recreational and sports activities for those who live and work on the aircraft carrier. There is a fully equipped fitness center with rowing machines, stationary bikes, treadmills, weightlifting, and even yoga. Most carriers, however, have their own television broadcast systems that play newly released movies and network television programs. There are even occasional opportunities for sailors to swim in the sea. The ship's leadership gives what is known as a swim call to off-duty personnel, giving them the opportunity to swim on the high seas. To stay safe and organized, everyone on the flight deck is color-coordinated. Sailors have a clear role on the flight deck, and the role is represented by colored jerseys. The U.S. Navy, which developed seven colors to represent the different roles of flight deck personnel. Purple sweatshirts, for example are responsible for refueling aircraft. They even have a cool nickname that is wine. Aircraft handlers wear blue. Maintenance and cargo handling personnel wear green. And those who wear yellow are aircraft handling officers and aircraft directors. The red shirts are ordnance officers and accident and rescue crews. And they are also tasked with the disposal of explosive ordnance. Air wing aircraft captains wear brown clothing and many jobs wear white, including air wing quality control personnel, squadron aircraft inspectors, landing signal men, air transfer officers, liquid oxygen crew, safety observers, and M personnel.